transit. We have public transportation. We have people trying to fly in and out of PDX. We go to Andrew Jimbert, who joins us live from the Gateway Transit Center. How's, how's it looking out there? Yeah, well, Chris, uh, some of that stronger snow and wind that we saw earlier that we reported on earlier has since subsided, but there's still some snow coming down. The next concern will be that freezing rain. All of that is to say that this will heavily affect your commute. We've already seen some TriMet bus lines canceled or operate on their alternate snow route. So if you do have to rely on a bus, you're going to want to go ahead and go on the TriMet.org website to check on any delays. Now, trains seem to be moving a little bit better here at the Gateway Station on Northeast uh, 99th. We've talked to some passengers. They say they haven't waited more than just a couple of minutes for their trains. Meanwhile, the airport, like we mentioned uh, earlier, over a third of flights have already been canceled, and that number could go up. We're talking over 100 flights. So if you're flying out of PDX, tonight or tomorrow, or if you have a loved one flying in, you're going to want to go on your airline's website and constantly check on some of those updates. Remember, that freezing rain is going to make it very difficult for planes to land and for them to take off. The same can be said for cars. De-icer and salt is not some magic bullet that's just going to make the roads safer. So the best advice, as we keep saying, is to just stay home. Chris, for you, I suggest you stay in that warm, cozy studio as long as you can. Back to you. Yes.